In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel. According to St. Mark, chapter 5, verses 21 to 24, and then verses 35b to 43. Now when Jesus had crossed over again by boat to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him, and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and begged him earnestly, saying, my little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. So Jesus went with him, and a great multitude followed him and thronged him. Some came from the, from the ruler of the synagogue's house, and, who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and saw a tumult, and those who wept and wailed loudly. When he came in, he said to them, Why make this commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, he took the father and mother of the child, and those who were with him, and entered where the child was lying. Then he took the child by the hand and said to her, Talimetha kumai, which is translated, Little girl, I say to you, arise. Immediately the girl arose and walked, for she was twelve years of age, and they were overcome with great amazement. But he commanded them strictly that no one should know it, and said to th that something should be given to her to eat. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us our, with our unbelief that we can truly really believe in you. In this scripture reading today, of course, we read about Jairus, the ruler of the synagogue. His daughter was gravely ill, and almost to the point of death. Jairus came up to Jesus when he heard that he was there, fell at his feet and begged him, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. And Jesus went with him and followed him. And as they were going, some of the people came from the ruler's house and said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? And Jesus' response to that, he said to Jairus, Do not be afraid, only believe. A very important message. Do not be afraid, only believe. Then, of course, we know what happens. He then went to and there were people crying and carrying on when they got there. And they said to him, 
she's not dead, but just asleep. They ridiculed him, laughed at him. She's dead, we can see that. So he got rid of them, and then he took them inside, into the girl's room, took his parents, her parents, and the apostles that were with him. And he grabbed the girl by the hand and said, Talamatha kumai which of course is translated, little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the little girl got up and walked. She was 12 years old. They were all so overcome, overcome with amazement. But Jesus said to them strictly, do not tell anybody. But give, them, give her something to eat. Many might wonder why give her something to eat. What's so important about that? How many dead people do you see eating? Everybody was thinking that she was dead. Dead people don't eat. No need to eat. That was another sign as well. Here's this young girl, 12 years old, eating. She's not dead. She was just asleep, as Jesus said. The important message for us is not to be afraid. There will be many occasions in our own lives when we become afraid of what's happening or what's going to happen. Jesus is telling us we must have faith. Faith in him, in God, that he will take care of us. No matter how grim and dark it may seem to you, our faith is the way. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. When he is there, there is no darkness. Only light. Our faith will should make us strong, not weak. Our faith in God, our faith in Jesus Christ, an important message for us all. You see it here in the raising of Jairus' daughter, making her well. As everybody gave up, thinking that well, she was dead, but she wasn't, as Jesus said. She's only sleeping. He proved that by make, getting her up to walk. And then to finish it off, giving her some food to eat. As I said, dead people don't eat food. I urge you all to pray. Pray for that faith that you can truly believe in God, in the word of God, and have faith. And every day give him the glory for all the things that happen in your life, the many blessings you receive. When it's dark, you pray. Pray for the light to come into you. The Holy Spirit, remember, is always with you. Give God the glory every day. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Beatrice, save us.